Every week we have a local animal shelter bringing a pet that's up for adoption and let you know ways that you can add that pet to your family. And today we are joined by the familiar face, Katie Woolsey with the San Diego Humane Society. And Katie, tell us who you have brought in today. Today I brought Klaus. He's a four-year-old husky mix available for adoption at our Escondido campus. Mm -hmm. And he's definitely a staff and volunteer favorite of an Escondido. I can totally and you can see, see why. why yes. Right? Like, so sweet, <laughs> full of personality, mm -hmm. smart. We learned actually just a couple minutes ago he knows how to shake, mm -hmm. he's great at sitting, mm -hmm. and he rides beautifully in the car. So just a really well-rounded, really good boy. How old is he, you said? He's four. He's four. So in my mind, he's very young. Yes. And what, what breed is he? We think maybe Husky Mix. Husky, I could, okay. And he has that one blue eye and one right. brown, yeah. which is just stunning. So his, stunning. his really great looks match his wonderful uh -huh. wonderful personality for sure. Uh, we think he'd probably be best in a home with uh, no other dogs. Okay. I think he'd prefer to be the only, yeah. um, only dog, which, yeah. you know, which is fine. fine. Yeah, right? he yeah. wants all the love for himself. Of course. As you can see, very sweet boy. He's okay, so thank you. Gorgeous. I love you too. Thank you. Um, talk to us really quickly about some of the events, some of the programs, or you know, some of the specials you guys have going on for the month of July, or any summer activities, events. Yeah. So the summer is a really busy yeah. time for we any just shelter. We were just talking <laughs> off camera about that. Yeah. So I do want to make sure to yeah. say, obviously, I want Klaus to find a home today. Mm -hmm. But if he's not the fit for you, mm -hmm. we have so many other dogs mm -hmm. and other cats and bunnies and guinea pigs yeah. looking for homes. So Klaus isn't a good fit for you. Please check our website. Please come visit one of our campuses. There's bound to be somebody that's a good fit for you. Mm -hmm. and if you can't adopt, consider fostering. Mm -hmm. And keep an eye on our website too. We have done quite a few adoption promotions throughout the mm -hmm. year where we're really trying to uh, inspire people to come to adopt. So we do mm -hmm. have reduced fees throughout uh, pretty much every month. So nice. definitely keep an eye on our website for that. I love that so much. And of course, if you can't adopt or uh, foster, you can volunteer. There are so many ways. Absolutely. You said that it's been really busy at the shelter, and there's yeah. even um, you even said there's been an uptick this summer in the kittens and the cats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're in we're in the middle of kitten season, Aww. so it's not just dogs that we're yeah. seeing high volume numbers for yeah. cats and kittens too. Kittens are definitely available for adoption right now if you're looking for a kitten. <laughs> but don't forget and don't overlook the adults as well because they, they need good homes too. Okay, thank you so much, Katie and Klaus. Thank you. I have no. Uh, doubt in my mind that you're going to go and find your family. Yeah. So, so special. All the info, <laughs> 10news.com. Thank you so much. Thank you.